guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Tally TV. It's your girl Tally, and welcome to another video. As you see, we are doing another DIY candle. Let's get right into what you're going to need. All items are from Dollar Tree. We have a glass bowl, a set of two spoons, three tall white candles to serve as the milk, a bag of Fruit Loops. That was that's the cereal I chose. Glue gun and glue sticks. The only thing you're going to need that's not pictured here is a pot of water to um, melt the wax. This is the pot that I'm going to go ahead and use. I wish I had my crab pot, but I did not bring that with me in this move, unfortunately. So once you have your pot filled with water, go ahead and turn your flame on low and um, just place your candles in there one by one, not too close to each other. Um, just want to leave some space for safety um, because you are heating wax. So I have all my candles placed into the pot of water and I'm just going to basically let it sit, let it, let it do its thing. Here we are um, with our candles pretty much not all, not halfway melted, but it's just doing what it needs to do. This is about 30 to 40 minutes in. I think it took about an hour and a half. I ended up having to press the wax down into the melted um, wax just because, again, my pot was not tall enough. And unfortunately, I did not film that part um, <laughs> running my mouth watching TV doing other things child so anyway we got the wax melted here you see me just wiping out our bowl just to make sure we don't have any dust any residue in there because you want your wax to melt evenly so that's all I'm doing cleaning the bowl out now off camera I did a lot off camera girl forgive me um, I sifted out the wicks I wanted this to be a three wick candle as you're going to see that didn't work because one of the wicks broke uh, so it's just going to be a two wick candle but I sifted them out of the wax all you got to do is use like a wooden spoon chopsticks fork knife whatever you have um, and just sift them out place them on your paper towel until you're ready to glue them to your bowl that's what we're going to do going to try to do all three but again you're going to see it's going to turn into a two wick And here you just see me placing my glue gun out, um, getting ready to plug it up so that I can get warm. Here I'm just feeling it to see if it's getting warm. You can pretty much feel on your glue gun when it's warm enough to use. And now it's warm enough. As you see, I'm just pressing it to see if the glue is coming out, and it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and start trying to place the glue on the bottom of this wick so we can place it in the bowl, and there it is, broke. <laughs> Oh, so that is what turned our three wick candle into a two wick candle. And as you see, I'm struggling, girl. Glues, glue guns can be messy, okay? But it dries easily, so it's, uh, it's an easy clean. So now we're gonna try it again on our second wick being a little more gentle this time because these wicks were very very thin as you see it's a struggle it's much easier to put the glue directly to the bowl as you'll see me do on the second wick child look at that <laughs> the struggle so I'm just placing the wick into our bowl letting that dry and on this one here like I said place that glue directly to the bowl it's just easier for me and then once I have that little dollop of glue I'm gonna go ahead and take my wick and place it right on top of it just making sure they are in place evenly set next to each other and now you just see me removing like the extra little stringy pieces because we don't want that in there we need our wax to melt evenly And if you can see that little piece of string, um, the string glue, I'm just trying to take that out just to remove any excess that we don't need. Now I'm just measuring out the wicks to see where to cut them. I'm going to cut them pretty high um, and then I'll trim them once the candle is done. All 
right guys so now you're going to need a cloth mitten um pot hold or something to remove your wax from the pot just because you don't want to burn yourself to be on the safe side they were pretty cool though honestly and then you want to just take your um, melted wax and pour it directly into your bowl that's pretty much it you want to do it simultaneously back to back because wax um sets quickly as you can see the bowl you can see the bottom it's already kind of um white you know ready to set so you want to kind of do it quickly pour them all in back to back so they think it can set evenly you don't want to pour one wait a couple of minutes pour another one because your wax won't be even and your candle won't melt even although this candle we are not melting I'll show you guys in the end and let you guys know why. Um, this is just going to be for decor purposes for my niece's room. She's only two going on three, so she does not need um, anything burning in her room. Now, as you see here, this is where <laughs> I messed up and I almost forgot to place my spoon in there. I also forgot to, oh, I didn't mention in the beginning, you're gonna need some wooden sticks or chopsticks or you can use anything long. Um, you're gonna need to place in between your uh, wicks to keep them standing. That's where I messed up at. As you see, they were kind of going all over the place, about to melt into the wax, girl. So I just grabbed my chopsticks. I didn't have my um, craft bag on the table in front of me. So I was trying to hurry up and grab something. So I went into the, the, the uh, drawer and got the chopsticks out. And then I just reached over, got my bag, and got the little... Um, what were they uh the knives that i had girl in my craft bag just to keep the wicks up you need something to keep them up so that was my mistake if you're going to do this make sure you have all of your tools handy so you don't have to worry about that <laughs> that was my mistake but hey we did it we improvised we're good so our wicks are in place now we're going to let this sit let the wax set and i'll be back to show you guys how it's looking Okay, so here we go. It's only been about three minutes and the bottom is pretty much setting. The top still has to set. Um, just wanted to show you guys again the side of it. And here it is all set. Now, I made a mistake and tried to put a piece of cereal on here too soon. You're gonna see that in a second. And it pretty much broke the wax right there. <laughs> put it on too soon and pushed it down and it broke the wax but it's going to be okay once I put the rest of the cereal on here you'll see you won't even be able to tell now I do want to apologize the next clip is going to be pretty much looks like it's all done here we go I did not hit record guys I'm so sorry I'm just trying to show you here how I did it. You basically want to take your heat gun, which I don't have yet, so I'm using a blow dryer, and you just basically want to blow dry all, um, all around the bowl of cereal. Sorry, guys. Um, just to like slightly melt your wax and then place your cereal wherever you want it to go. So that's all I'm doing here, just melting the wax a little bit, using the blow dryer on the high setting, and then as it melts, place my cereal down. That's pretty much all I'm doing, just placing more down. I was pretty much done, but once I saw that I didn't hit record, I had to add more so that you guys can see how I'm doing it. So yeah, I'm just going around. Uh, making sure the wax is melted good enough so that the cereal can um, set into I'm sorry Yeah, the cereal can set into the wax. I need it to set so I'm just going over with the uh, blow dryer really quickly And then we are pretty much done I'll show you guys how it looks once I cut the blow dryer off before it's actually dried all the way now again, this is just for decor purposes for my niece's room. She's only two, one on three, and her room is really bright, colorful, you know, nice little girly trinket. So I, when I saw this on Pinterest, Instagram, I said, oh, I'm making her one. So this is going in her room. Again, we are not lighting this candle. If you do want to light these candles, you can do so. I will let you know how to make that so that your cereal does not burn because this is real cereal. So um, just using this for decor piece, for as a decor piece, we're not burning this one. Okay, and here is the bowl of cereal once the uh, blow dryer is cut off. As you can see, it's still kind of shiny and wet. It's not all the way dry yet. We're just going to let that sit, let it dry, and then we will be done. And I'm going to take this to my niece, and she's going to love it. And she might think it's a real bowl of cereal, girl. Because don't it look like a real bowl, child? Yes, it does. 
Now, as I was saying, if you want to make this candle and you want to actually burn it, you're going to need to actually um, get like a wax um, overlay. But if you don't get, want to get a wax overlay, just get the wax mold melts off of Instagram I and mean, Amazon. And girl, that's all you got to do. Get you some wax melts and put them inside the molds and you're done. So here's our final product all finished, all dried up. Our cereal candle. I think it came out really, really cool. Again, if you want to um, buy this, I mean, if you want to make this candle to burn it, then just buy the wax molds on Amazon with some wax melt and you'll be perfectly fine to burn it. Or you have to get a wax overlay, which is like a spray. It can be kind of um, dangerous as far as fumes and it can be pricey. So I would suggest you go on with the Amazon route and just buy the wax cereal molds and get you some um, wax melts and and just make your own cereal mold and that way you can burn it and you'll also have um, it for decor as well so I hope you guys like this video it was really really easy to make as you see all items were from the Dollar Tree except of course my glue gun glue sticks and my pot but our bowl our um, cereal our spoon our candles all came from Dollar Tree so for a cute decor piece um, for your house for your children's room or to sell again you can make some money off of these babies it's easy to make we did this in like 20 minutes guys so if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you comment um, like the video subscribe come back for more if you aren't a part of the team what are you waiting for make sure you subscribe thank you guys <laughs> Thank you.